Good afternoon, welcome back. This is Saima. If you haven't met me before, I'm a nurse from Southeast England. In today's video, I'm going to tell you about uh, NHS work permit. Do we get permanent job if we are working here in the NHS? Is it a contract based or is it uh, like, remember back home, when we say government job means permanent job, we don't need to do any contract. We don't need to do anything. We are good for the life <laughs> isn't it so in today's video i'm going to tell you is nhs the same as government job back home all right if you're interested in this topic please watch the video till the end i am saima nurse from southeast england if you haven't met me before on this channel you get information about uk nursing how to become a nurse here in the uk what is the process of becoming a nurse healthcare jobs and how to apply for healthcare jobs what are the requirement for healthcare jobs dependent visa how to apply for it uh, retire to visa health and care visa or immigration updates anything you can think of around me i i provide information about that and i am not with any recruitment team just to let you know so i don't have any jobs i don't provide any jobs i just guide you how to apply for jobs where to apply for jobs what are the jobs available all right uh, so let's dive into the video without any further delay thank you so much for coming back if you are new to this channel uh, if you are uh, if you are returning viewer thank you so much for coming back if you are a new viewer new subscriber please consider watching the video watching my other videos you can subscribe if you like the video give it a big thumbs up also all right so uh, if we think about nhs contract so let me tell you that government jobs back home uh, they are totally different than nhs job here and also we we have a contract here i mean when you get a job here in the nhs it's not your permanent job it's, it's your job for uh, three years they give you visa for three years you get a residence visa you get a biometric residence for three years after three years you need to renew it okay and uh, renewal is the same uh, as you do it in the beginning you need a certificate of sponsorship again upon your renewal let's say your visa is expiring in um, uh, january you need to apply for the certificate new certificate of sponsorship maybe a few days ago uh, a few days uh, before your visa gets expired or a month all right uh, if you need that uh, certificate of sponsorship to be renewed as soon as possible or if you are going on holidays or something like that you can apply maximum three months ahead all right let's say you were your uh, visa is expiring in january or your your visa is expiring in january you want to replace your visa you can apply for it three months beforehand okay my uh, visa was expiring in april so i applied for it in february because we were going home and i wanted to apply for my son as well so i applied for it end of the january uh, beginning of the february so february month i applied so three months beforehand you can apply for your visa okay i'll make another video how to do how to renew your contract okay let me just tell you how to how do you renew your contract when it's three years when your contract expires you know, with the nhs when your residence permit when your brp uh, when the last date when it's finished after three years how do you renew it you contact your hr department you tell them that your brp is going to be expiring or your visa is expiring soon and i want to renew okay so they will give you a new certificate of sponsorship then you can apply for your, your visa by yourself you can do it by yourself or if you want someone to do it for you you can do that also but it's pretty simple it's the same process as you do it in the beginning for your visa you just need to uh, apply for yourself again you pay for it and you pay for your dependents also 
okay i'm not sure if i can claim her back because i haven't spoken to hr department about it yet but for the renewal i think they don't pay you only in the beginning for your for your visa and for your dependent but i'm not sure about it i'll i'll speak to my hr department and if anybody wants to know about it or uh, i will disclose i will let you know if i can get refund for that okay and also they refund you only your visa if you use any other services like if you use a priority service or uh, any other uh, high priority or something like that you are going to pay for that hospital will not pay for that they will only pay for regular um, regular visa and that's it okay so here in the nhs when you get a job you get a job for three years then you need to renew it it's not a permanent job and if you don't want to if you don't want to renew you can go back to your home country if you want to change employer you don't need to renew it no just tell them ahead of time like um in two uh, before two months usually they give you one month or two months notice so just read on your contract if you want to change your organization just read on your contract how many months of um, notice you have to give but you need to tell to your manager that you don't want to continue or you uh, you don't want to renew your visa okay it's same as you are resigning for your job if you don't want to renew it just tell them ahead of time so you don't face any troubles all right i would say three months ahead of time you can tell them and if they want you to do anything or if any paperwork they will let you know okay so in short uh, you need to renew your visa after three years a lot of people they say that uh, the agency is giving me five years permanent residence uh, five months uh, uh, five years five years permanent work permit okay so just to say it uh, the fact is they don't give you work visa for five years they only give you for three years in the nhs okay and i think it's worldwide um i mean countrywide it's only three years visa for work then you need to renew it because they want you to pay for two visas at least before they give you ilr okay so it's usually three years if any agency is telling you they will give you five years work permit they are lying okay that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and if you have any queries any questions do let me know in the comment section i'll see you soon in the next video till then take care bye bye god bless you all